Let's talk about voter turnout. I mean, more than 43 million Americans have already cast a ballot in this presidential election. It's lining up to be an historic turnout here. Where are we with the polls at the moment? We know the US loves a good poll, uh, but the polls seem to be converging in the swing states. What are you seeing at the moment? Um, a couple of things on polls. Yes, um, they show things very, very tight. But keep in mind, in 2016, at this exact same point in the campaign, Donald Trump was down by seven points to Hillary Clinton, and he won. In 2020, he was down by 10 points at this exact same date to Joe Biden and very nearly won. So the Trump team feels very confident about the fact they're polling even in so many of these states. It feels like a very, very close election, Holly. It has for a long time. Could it break one way or the other in the next couple of days? Possibly. I think more likely what you're going to see is a long, drawn-out decision-making. We might not know who wins until Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even into the weekend of election week. So, yeah, the polling is is, is mm. close. Everything's close. The Trump team feels pretty good about it, but uh, pretty soon we'll uh, we'll see the results. Mick, we do have to wrap things up, but we've seen, I mean, Hollywood stars, we've got Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce on the weekend, Bruce Springsteen all coming out to back Kamala. Does this actually work in your perspective? Do voters really want to be told by Hollywood stars how they should vote? No, the only reason that matters very quickly is that the Taylor Swift endorsement might count because her followers include disproportionately large numbers of young single women and young single women don't vote very heavily in this country. Again, we do not have compulsory voting. If the Taylor Swift endorsement can bring 15, 20, 25,000 new voters to Kamala Harris, that can make an, uh, an impact. But ordinarily, <laughs> nobody listens to Hollywood for who they should vote for. Mick Mulvaney, you're the perfect person to talk to just eight days out from the presidential election. Thanks so much for your time. Chat to you soon. Thanks, Holly.